yes, indeed. Anyway, champagne socialist, interesting phrase, because people say it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> Why can't you enjoy a glass of champagne while simultaneously supporting universal health care? <coughs> Why can't you be cosmopolitan and still want a minimum wage? Why can't you crave, I don't know, Lebanese food and still believe in free school meals? Since when did being a sophisticated, educated expert turn you into a libtard? And, and they slur you with the epithet, metropolitan elite. Now that is presumably for the twin sins of living in a city and reading. <laughs> um, I um, I went to see a Tom Stoppard play the other night. <laughs> Beth, I don't think there's any coming back from that. No doubt I shall die alone. <laughs> right, come on now. You look at the people who took the mantle of power in 2016, and uh, who's the first one who comes to mind? Mm -hmm. Donald J. Trump, <laughs> perchance. He's the uh, oldest, dumbest president ever elected. <laughs> but you know what, there is an upside. There's an upside. The uh, newspaper sales are through the roof. Indeed. Headline after headline. I mean, only this week we've had... Trump creates new language, Kofefe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that's the last time he presses the wrong button when he's in the White House. <laughs> Trump pulls out of Paris. Which just sounds like the worst sex tape ever. <laughs> Trump insults London Mayor. Yeah, we haven't got a punchline for that one. We just want to say, fuck off! <laughs> Don't get her started. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, though, it's, it's not that much better here, really, is it? I mean, we've got, what, clowns to the left, jokers to the right. We are stuck in the middle with Tim Farron. <laughs> Justin Trudeau. 